Since its inception, computer science and computer engineering has been focused on building the instrument that is the computer and the network that helps us do computation. We have come to a point in, you know, around the turn of the, the millennium where technology has been almost perfected to the point that it became so pervasive. You know, everybody has notebooks or computers or cell phones and all of a sudden there is torrents of data that is coming out of that infrastructure now that people are starting to use it. And in many ways, that is the reason why big data is becoming such a, an important subject these days. But generally speaking, big data is really about data that is so much that you cannot interpret it except with the help of computational approaches. And all of us actually feel that. For example, you know, maybe when Facebook starts, um, you know, I'm able to deal with all the updates because, uh, because I can actually go through all of them. But now that I have, I don't know, 500 friends or whatnot, there's so much that I cannot handle it myself. What I need is the help of Facebook as a system to summarize this for me so that my bandwidth as a human being, I can deal with it. This is a key point in pretty much every science where the methods used in these sciences is changing because of the availability of data. So now the availability of these new types of data changes how people do research in these disciplines. So if I'm somebody doing research on education and you know, how people learn, I had no access to that data before. And the only way to do it was bring a student in the lab and watch them, which is not natural. Or if I'm doing research in public transportation, well, I had no clue as to the kinds of cars and the density of cars that move through a particular intersection. Right now, we can get all this data readily because you know, cars have GPSs, I can follow people, etc. And to me, that is an extension of the tools we were building. It's just that it's not focusing on hardware, networks, storage. It's really about the algorithms. It's about how you process data. That unless you do it right, it could be totally impractical. And it requires computer scientists to understand the problems that come from the different disciplines so that we can do things more efficiently or perhaps in a different way.